What is up guys, it is Lely and this is my PES 16 My Club series. I know there's a lot of hype on this week's special agent which is the team of the year agent plus the Champions League for the first week's teams anyway. And don't get me wrong, I was really hyped up. I saw the 72% chance of Black Ball and you know, I thought team of the year, all the top players are available. Then when I actually looked at the list of targets, I thought, right, obviously there are some top names here. You know, and then I saw one player missing and it just killed the hype for me. It made me not, I'm not going to do a big agent opening for this week purely because there is one player missing and if you've been following me all the way through the series you'll know there is no Luis Suarez in that list and yeah there's players like Messi, Ronaldo and Neuer, other Thiago Silva, other top players I haven't got which would obviously walk into my team but for me it's not about having these top players. For me it's about having the players that I want but that doesn't mean I'm not doing an agent opening lads. There are some ones that I've earned and some guaranteed blackboard players here and the fact that Konami gave us all these free agents which I'm going to actually start off spinning for now uh, which I haven't opened up yet so I'm going to get rid of these I'll say terrible ones the ones I'm not really bothered about so far I'd prefer to get a gold ball goalkeeper here because I know there's going to be a chance where I'll end up with four black ball goalkeepers next week when I go for next week's special agent well if it's going to be a black ball it has to be someone like Bufa, Neuer, De Gea someone like that Other, otherwise I don't want it How is this goalkeeper? He's got a 75 rating, got a goalkeeper of 92. Right, this is where I won't mind a black ball. Or, oh my god, I should have let it go on a bit longer. Although, we do know if I was gonna get a goal, I'm mean, always gonna get it. Seamus Coleman, I've just released this fucker, you know. Although, this week he should be on form because he did score in the last game he played in the Premier League. And we got a black ball. Let's see who it is. Can't do a ball roll, do a ball roll. Oh, fuck off. I've had this play before as well. So now we're moving on to our two free midfielders and the fact that I just got a black ball in defence that means I'm not going to get one now for the rest of the free ones I'm on. Nowhere near. Hey we've got the Arsenal new boy let's see what he's like. That's not a promising sound right there I'm not even going to go further than that. Right I wouldn't mind Coyote or someone like that actually. There are some hidden gems in the gold balls uh, department. Come on, let's get cute. I don't even know who half these players are anymore. Right, this is where we're looking for back to back blacks because this is the only real chance I can get at the Suarez in this video. Come on, come on! Come on, sir. What the fuck? This is the reason why Konami actually put in the second tier of English football just so they could screw us in my club. Right, this is the last free one and all the free agents that Konami have given us through these normal agents I've had absolute pants and my friend got messy in his very first one and now I'm gonna just get fucking screwed again. Casado. Right let's move on to the Champions League ones which I earned free from the online challenge and the offline challenge. Look at that, such a healthy amount of black balls on screen. Chances are I'll probably still land on a gold. Fucking said it. I fucking called it. Seventy-two percent chance of a fucking black ball and a land on a gold, and a player I used to have as well. Konami know how to screw you over good and hard, don't they? Fucking, I got Seamus Coleman. I was gonna say if that was another gold one. Fucking hell. Come on, do the ball roll. Come on, we got what's someone special here, lads? Who is this? Oh, Felipe! No, I thought it was Coutinho for a moment. That's true, my fuck's sake. For a moment, I thought it was Felipe Coutinho and. I was looking through the players and I didn't really want this player. I know he's good, but I, I need a centre midfielder who can actually run up and down the pitch and this guy isn't that. Come on, do the ball roll. Yes, we've got another special player, but I think it's a defender. One that I might not need. Oh, fucking hell. I've got a beastly left back. I don't even think I need this guy. I'll compare him to LSU, who was a 79 rated left midfielder and you'll see how very similar they are so I'll save this one this is for me the best agent for last this week you better fucking do a ball roll come on do a ball roll yes come on oh who's that I see enough of his face and wait who the fuck is this so my current left back is the one on the left which is LSU and Dave is on the right so defensively Dave is obviously better but everywhere else I would take LSU all day long. So time to pick up from the divisions and we've got 4 points from the first 2 matches. We need another 16 from the last 8 to get ourselves into Division 3. 
So let's see who our first match of this episode is against, and it's against King K. 77 and his rating is 725. Should be a tough match, and I'm playing against the team strength level 5. I'm sure I haven't even sorted my squad out as well. How stupid is that of me? Oh my god, I haven't even sorted my squad out properly either. Lucky for me, when I say that, it probably means I just haven't got Ibrahimovic on the bench. If I'm using Team Friends level 5, I should have Ibra on the bench. And I'm up against Ronaldo, who's on top form this week. And to be honest, lads, I think this is the week where Pez is going to start dying out. Because now that there's this 70% chance of this top agent, we're going to see Ronaldo and Robben, Neymar, Bale, all these top players all the time now. And there's nothing cheap early on. I'll only feed this fucking... Oh my god. Oh no. See, I, I spotted that straight away. Thank God, Handanovic. Oh my God. Oh my God, again, Handanovic. Yep, Mr. Original here. Because he's amazing like that. Murat, if you better be on side, thank you. Well played, Neymar. Good touch. Takes away. Looks for Lacazette on the back post. Lacazette, fucking get in. Oh, you spammy cunt. Look how you slid in about 10 years before the actual ball had got there. Oh my god, no, not like this. No, fuck off. Fuck off. I actually passed it back. I didn't want it towards Handanovic. Oh, come on, ref. He's not even going for the ball. He's hitting me and then getting the ball. What kind of shit is that? Oh, yeah, brilliant ref. Thank you, thank you. Let's let's not, you know, play by the fucking rules, ref. Let him absolutely just take bail out and then get the ball. Okay, now, don't even know what's going on here. Look, his players are like first to everything. Oh my god. Wow, what the hell is going on here? Wow, wow, wow. This is just taking the piss. My players are like absolutely retards today absolute fucking retards his players are like so fucking smart and doing everything it's just fucking bollocks man to be honest my team have not been at it they've not given me anything i thought after i scored the first goal my team might actually start playing better but they've been fucking worse come on lads come on Murata, we're through lacazette's through come on lacazette come on how the is he saving that? Everything's always perfect when it's Ronaldo. Always fucking perfect when it's true Ronaldo. <sighs> fucking hell. That is taking the piss, honestly. Is there any clearer way of telling me, Lally? Lads, I'm not even joking. This felt more one-sided than that 13 nil match I just had. So our second match of this episode is against Terminator and you can follow that up. Right, let's see what he's got. He has got Ibrahimovic, Raben, Ronaldo, Pogba, Matuidi, Ramos, Pepe, Courtois, Costa on the bench, Arbeloa and a bunch of white balls. Fucking hell. What's going on here? I can't get the ball back every time I do give it well every time Fucking hell Neymar, the ball's right next to you. Look, the, the game is just not feeling right, lads. It does not feel right, and this is why I hate playing my club. Come Bell, you're on. Come on, just burst him. Come on. No one should be catching you here. No one. Just smash it. Just fucking smash it. Come on, Neymar, this is yours. What the hell? Why are you slowing down? Neymar finally and then this this game is absolutely piss take how Neymar intercepts the ball straight at his feet and then runs it out 10 yards for a fucking throw in Bale, make you move Bale okay and he's on come on come on come on Bale okay he's cutting Ramos he's cutting come on oh fuck's sake so much width to play with here Come on, Neymar, go. And Morata's on. Morata's on. That's an easy ball. End the back post. No. Okay, come on. Get the target. Fucking get in. Good touch, Neymar. Yep. Saw that one coming. Come on. Fuck you. Take him on. And then he's back at you again. Oh, it's fucking Robin. Although he should never be tracking about this far back. 
Took some Bayol! 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 Thank you! This is what I mean. The game is playing stupid though. His keeper should have dealt with that. I'm I'm winning, I know, but I'm not enjoying this game. There's no enjoyment to it. it feels like just a bunch of BS happening right now. Come on, Ramos, this is yours. I don't Oh no! Fucking hell, what a save! Somehow! Somehow! And then that! And then that! What is the keeper doing? Made an amazing save! It, that that perfectly sums Pez up right there. Look at it, amazing save there and then... I, I, I don't even know how to describe this. What the fuck, keeper? Come forward for that! Take it! It's yours! Oh. To Lacazette, come on, make it one. Oh, why did I not shoot? Lads, I'm just not feeling it at the moment. I know I'm winning, but it feels like it's not a game of two people seeing who's going to beat each other. No, it's a game of two people just holding the controller and the game's going to do what the fuck it likes. It's going to pick its winner for us. Yep. Through the ball, and I knew it. If only my Ibro was actually that good. Yeah, he can play well, but never does good touches like that. Mine always has the most rapiest touch. And his does that. Right, Neymar's put in Morata. Oh, it's Lacazette. I didn't aim for him. I aim for Morata. I aim for fucking Morata. That's why I didn't aim for Lacazette. Look how acres of space this bastard was in. Yep, that's right. Castro, who's got like the world's worst dribble. Yeah, he's dancing in and out of my place. game is fucking stupid man I can see this shit coming I can see this shit coming but the game is just playing like fucking shit today look at that fucking run for the ball why are you fucking walking like you no one's in the fucking half with you get the ball you're fucking there right wow I did not ask for you to take a fucking touch there that's what I mean. I did not ask for him to take a fucking touch. And he still did it. He still fucking did it. That's what I mean. When the other team have, like, Ronaldo and these hyper players, it makes the gameplay, like, absolute fucking dog shit. And then, now that Konami has given everyone, Ronaldo and everyone, a 70% chance this game is going to be fucking dead. It's a fucking shit game. If I honestly don't play Pez anymore, you know fucking why. There's so many fucking good games out there, and Konami can't get their online shit sorted together. How this game fucking plays so stupid? Stupidly different online to how it does offline and then when they do sometimes get it right online They can't fucking get the consistency. I just want a fucking game of football when I was winning at 2-1 at half time I even said then the game feels like shit and I wasn't enjoying it It doesn't fucking feel any better when you lose it 3-2 because of some fucking stupid I don't even know how to describe this game if I stop YouTube and press I'm not gonna make a video and say oh this is why you can fucking see why just look at the last 55 fucking my club videos I've done and you can fucking see why Everyone's gonna fucking stop playing Pez one day and rather not they're not even gonna play FIFA, they're just gonna stop fucking playing Pez. Fuck this shit game man, I'm out of here. I don't need this shit. Really fucking bad. Wait, 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 it's not over yet, it's not fucking over yet. I'll tell you what. Let let me let me just say something. Let me just fucking say something. You know people out there that fucking have big support of this game really piss me the fuck off because if you lot are not there saying, oh yeah, it's great, great. Can I might fucking sort this shit out? Yeah, I've, I've come on time and time again and said it. There's a reason why I'm not going to get no special treatment from Konami for a long time. It stopped ages ago. Like I've never had special treatment. But I did spend a lot of time on YouTube. And that's why they gave me a bit of a first look at it. But next year, don't expect no special treatment. I'm not expecting no special treatment. When I fucking talk about how shit this fucking game is. I know there's people that enjoy watching me rage. But don't expect me to be playing Pez time and time again. When I can't even fucking play a game where I don't even fucking have control of it. I'm going to genuinely stop fucking Pez YouTubing if I keep coming up with this same shit. Where the game's so fucking inconsistent. You come up against Ronaldo. I said it, didn't I, earlier on. I said, now that Konami are giving away the agents, like, fucking hotcakes for Ronaldo and whatnot. I'm going to come up against Ronaldo, Robin, and the game's just going to be absolutely unfucking playable And that's me done, lads. I don't think I'm going to be Pez YouTubing for much longer anyway. Not, not if the game fucking stays like this. I'm done, that's it, lads. Laters.